standing in the front of Ho Chi Minh City's museum. One ticket is uh, 15,000 dongs. And uh, basically this is a museum of uh, you know the city so you have you know like everything you can find here like the history of Vietnam, the history of the war, you know like ancient cars during the French era and so on so you know like if you have the time to visit uh, Ho Chi Minh City you should definitely visit uh, the Ho Chi Minh City's uh, museum it's definitely worth it So for those who knows like uh, Vietnamese as a Latin today, this is the old Vietnamese Chữ Nho or Viet Han, which is based on uh, Chinese characters and it has even more, you know, strike strokes, strokes, so it is even more difficult to write. So right now I'm standing in the room where um, they kept all the ancient or traditional way how to, you know, know how to uh, wet. There's a groom, there's a bride, and there's um, usually a father. They are paying respect to the ancestors. And most of the traditions are kept today, you know, like how to uh, bring the gifts, like uh, the man or the groom bring the gifts to the bride and then ask the permission of her um, parents to uh, wed her. Yeah. These are really interesting, you know, these are money from the French Indochina era during colonization where basically you have symbols from three countries, Laos, Cambodia and Vietnam combined in the currency, the money. These are not examples, basically you have Chinese, Vietnamese, Cambodian in one paper. It's almost like in Europe during the Habsburg Austrian Empire. I have uh, you know all the symbols of specific countries in one bank paper. So right now I'm standing just in front of the entrance of the Independence Palace. This is like the critical point of the Vietnam War when, uh, you know, the Northern Vietnamese Army, you know, conquered this building and then eventually, you know, stopped the war or end the war, you know, and uh, on above the, the, the building, you know, there's a helipad, which was, um, you know, one of the famous shot in uh, you know all the American documentary movies, and I think even you know there's a photograph where uh, American choppers you know eventually uh, take all the you know, uh, important uh, military persons and uh, officials from South Vietnam country away from you know uh, danger. So yeah, I will go inside and check out uh, the building and see uh, what. Uh, interesting spots I can you know like uh, find and maybe take some good pictures well I would say like this is like when I mentioned you know the most prominent and symbolic icon of this uh, building it was uh, the, the chopper here 
I don't know if this is the original or not. But yeah, this is a symbolic chopper when uh, the American, you know, like government or soldiers were taking all, all the certain Vietnamese higher officials. It's like private theater. It's huge. It's classy. Now you can imagine how the higher officials were living. You know. Pretty fancy, huh? Behind me, you can see a room, so-called uh, game room. So this is actually our entertaining room. So this is, this is actually where the higher officials and the president, including, have used to have fun. Some kind of great main hall. As you can see, it's pretty spacey. This is where people used to have fun and dancing. You know, it's like a dance floor. So imagine, you know, in 1970s. All the hardcore party here. Look at this fancy circle carpet here. It's like from you know some kind of Chinese movie. All these rooms look so super fancy, you know, it's a mix of Asian and European kind of architecture and culture. You have red, you have dragons, and then you have the elegancy of like say French, you know, style. So behind me you can see the ambassador room, you know, this is uh, the room where actually all the newly arrived and appointed ambassadors are, are you know, like, staying here and elected by the ex-president. According to all the tour guide here, this is actually the most beautiful room in this whole palace. Uh, the picture behind me is like painted by some Japanese, you know, fancy artist. So, yeah, it's pretty funny, you know, like the ambassador room is even more fancy than the presidential, you know, guest room. Yeah. Bunker, huh? Let's check it out. High frequency communications. So, yeah, transmission to the US and uh, to abroad basically. No internet. Command center. It's like a in general use to sit here. So right now I'm standing in the what you mean main post office. As you can see, they have really fancy way how to save the ATMs here. London, uh, all the AS, PC, whatever. You can see the our national hero and ex uh, leader Mr. Ho Chi Minh or Uncle Ho. There's so many people here. There's beautiful architecture and all that. Really nice ceilings. Until this day, it still worked as a post office, I think. Not today, or maybe even today, I don't know. But during the weekdays, it should work as a normal post office. So be sure to check this out. It's just a few meters from the Notre Dame here in Ho Chi Minh City, and you should definitely check this out. It's a very, very interesting place.